Hey loves, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Jenny. So if this is your first time in this channel, thank you for stopping by and also thank you to my host subscribers for all your support. So today's video is the making of this cow neckline top as you see me putting on right here. It's a two-piece outfit. So if you're also interested to know how I made this short pants, I have it right here on my channel. So just go ahead and check it out. So without wasting any of your time, don't forget to subscribe like and share this video let's get into it welcome again so mates so the first thing you are going to do is to fold a fabric which is going to be for the front and to get the width of this fabric go ahead and divide your bust measurement by four and add extra inches allowance so the length of this fabric is 25 inches so what you are going to do next is to go ahead and fold in the facing. So the front is going to have a facing of 5 inches. So this is what you see me doing. So just make sure all the parts are 5 inches. Then after folding the facing, the next thing you are going to do is to fold it back the way it was before. So this is me folding it back again and make sure every part aligns properly as you can see me doing right here. After doing that, the next thing I'm going to do is to place 5 inches. So I'm going to off 5 inches. Then I'm going to mark out my ham o length of 8 inches. For the neck width, I'm going to place my shoulder measurement divided by 2 which is 8 inches. And I'm going to place it right there. So if your shoulder measurement is 7 inches, go ahead and place it right there. So coming to the ham hole part, I'm going to divide my bust measurement by 4. And I'm going to add 1 inch stitching allowance and 1 inch for ease. So just go ahead and add your stitching allowance of 1 inch and 1 inch for ease. So after getting this, I'm just going to curve out my ham hole like this. So from that neck width to the ham hole line, I'm going to curve out my ham hole curve like this. After doing that, still placing the tape at that 5 inches, I came down by my half length, 17 inches for my half length and 21 inches for this top length so the top length is 20 inches plus one inch for folding at the hem making 21 inches coming to the waistline divide your waist measurement by four add one inch for stitching allowance one inch for ease then coming to the M, whatsoever you have at the waistline go ahead and place it at the hem And you are going to add extra 1.5 inches to that. After doing that, I'm just going to connect all the points together like this. As you see me doing. So just connect all the points like this. I'm just trying to make the lines more visible for you guys. So after doing this, I'm going to just cut this out. After cutting it guys, this is what we are having and you can see the facing right there. So after you open it up now, what I'm going to do is to measure out this ham hole part to the hem. So when I measured it, it was 14.5. Then now go ahead and flip in the facing to the wrong side of the fabric. And I'm going to hold it down with my pins. And I'm also going to do the same thing for this other part. So just go ahead and hold the facing and the main fabric down with your pin towards the armhole area. 
so guys after that this is what it's looking like after everything this is what it's going to look like so you can see the cow neckline right there so you can see how it's going to come out so let's go ahead and cut out the back for the back piece also I've gone ahead to cut out another fabric it's also the same length with that of the front 25 inches then for the widths you already know what you should use to cut out the widths which is your bust measurement divided by four then you're going to add extra inches allowance for the back it's also going to have a facing so i went ahead to fold in the five inches which is going to be for the facing so after that i folded it back again the way it was making sure that everything is aligned properly now i'm going to also place my five inches so for the back i'm also going to off five inches then i'm going to mark out my armhole length of eight inches remember the side at the front we measured 14.5 so that is what i'm going to mark out right there now coming to the neck width i'm going to make use of five inches because the back neck width is not going to have a cow neckline so it's going to be straight so what i'm going to do at the armhole area i'm going to divide my bust measurement by four and i'm going to add half inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance so towards the neck width you can also use six inches six inches will also be fine i'm just going to connect my armhole curve like this as a semi drain so after that i want to get my half length still placing my tape at five inches i came down by 17 inches which is my half length and my top length of 21 inches which you know already to be more sure about the length i went ahead to place the front piece on the back piece like this to actually get the top length so you can see after getting the top length i'm going to divide my waist measurement by four at the waistline add your one inch for ease the one inch for stitching allowance after that i'm going to just connect it this way from the armhole to the waistline So coming to the hem of the top, just like what we did for the front, what you have at the waistline, go ahead and place it at the hem part. Then you are going to add extra 1.5 inches to it. Then you go ahead and connect it this way. So after connecting, cut it out. So guys after cutting it out this is what we are having as you can see the facing right here so just flip the facing towards the wrong side of the fabric now so coming to the armhole part i'm going to stitch down the facing and the main fabric together like this at the armhole parts and i also do the same thing for the front piece like this so just go ahead and stitch it down so after top stitching the main fabric to the facing this is what i have and i've gone ahead to cut out this strip of fabric which i'm going to be using for the straps i'm going to be using them for the straps so the next thing to do now is very easy so just go ahead and place the strip of fabric like this right side facing the main fabric at the hamo area so i'm just going to pin this down for you guys to understand what i'm going to be explaining so guys after pinning it down at this top you can see that tip there i'm going to measure out five inches because 
when drafting this i off five inches for the front and also for the back i offed five inches so making 10 inches but i'm not going to mark 10 inches i'm going to make use of 10.5 inches so the next thing to do is to place the back piece on the front piece like this wrong side facing So remember that part we marked that 10.5 inches, we are going to be placing it on this part. You can see. So just go ahead and place it at the tip of this ham hole like this. Just place it right there. So right side facing. So after that, I'm also going to be pinning it down to hold them together. So all this part I'm pinning down is where you are going to be stitching on. So you are going to stitch it all the way to this ham hole. So guys, after pinning, you can see what we have. So we are going to just stitch it up like this. So I'm going to do the same thing for this other ham hole part. After stitching, this is what I have. And I've gone ahead to finish it up at this other ham hole part. You can see how it's looking like. So for this one, what you are going to do now is you are going to flip that strip of fabric towards the wrong side of the fabric. So to cover the rough edges. So as you see me doing, so just go ahead and fold it in like this. So you're just going to fold in the straps like this towards the ham hole then you are also going to just take it all the way to this other ham hole of the back area so let me just do it and come and show you what it's looking like so make sure it's neat and relaxed so guys, after stitching it down, this is what I have. You can see how it's relaxed on each other. So if you stitch yours and your own did not relax on the other one like this and it's looking so rumpled, that means you've not gotten it right. So you just have to do it all over again. So the next thing to do is to just go ahead and place the side together and stitch it down by one inch remember it was one inch we left for the stitching allowance so we are going to just stitch the side down with that one inch after stitching the side i'm also going to be folding the hemming and also the facing of the front and the back So after stitching it down guys, this is what the top now is looking like. You can see how beautiful it came out. You can see how the straps are relaxing on each other. Looking so lovely and beautiful. So I would like you guys to try this out. So thank you very much for stopping by and also thank you for all your support. If there's any style you want me to do as a video, please lay it down on the comment section below. I will try my best to do it. Thank you very much for staying to the end of this video. See you in my next video. Bye.